I'm with Jennifer Wyckoff, who is a consultant for the Butler's Longhorn Museum out here in League City. Now, Jennifer, this museum has progressed amazingly, and what we're wanting to know is what's the status of the museum, and approximately when do you think we'll have the grand opening? Uh, the status is development. We're in a development stage uh, still, but uh, things are moving quickly and we're very, very close to coming to an opening. We're just reorganizing and, and trying to understand which is the best way for the museum to function, either on its own or under the umbrella of the city, and that has yet to be determined. So I saw the Longhorns downstairs on the second floor. Now you've got a record on that? Oh, yes. We have the largest collection in the world of Longhorns. So that will be in the Guinness Book of Records. So where did you get them all? Oh, they all come from uh, different cattlemen all over the state of Texas, and in fact, all over the United States. We have them in 49 states. You've got a in. collection of different exhibits on all three floors. Do you have a favorite? My favorite will be the collection of where you saw the Longhorn live animal. It looks like a live animal. So and that's called the Sunset Corral exhibit and that'll be my favorite one. And I saw you have some interactive displays? Yes, we'll have all kinds of stuff that will be interactive for children and different types of people that are special needs. We'll have all kinds of things for that. This will be the weapons room. This is in a process of being built. It has to be fireproofed so people could donate their fine weapons for exhibit. And that's very exciting. We're it looking forward exciting. to this. It yeah. Is. This is great. We're looking forward to the grand opening. Well, thank you so much for being here. Okay, Judge Holbrook, it's nice to see you again. It's very nice. Now, you were telling us a little story about what you did a few years ago. Well, down on the second floor, uh, we used to meet on Saturday mornings with Mr. Walter Hall. Uh, a bunch of his friends would get together down there, and, of course, he would tell us what to do. But we would also have a discussion about how we solve all the problems of the county. Uh-huh. And, and did it work? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that people have a hard time believing is that any advice you got from Walter Hall was never wrong. That's quite a statement. <laughs> <laughs> and I can testify to that after 28 years of listening to him. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's he great was, memory. He, he was brilliant, and he didn't hesitate telling you how it ought to be done. Sometimes we'd meet out in the workshop, but that was before it was air-conditioned. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a great project. I want to support it. I can't do anything officially. I just maybe give them a few dollars every now and then. And we really appreciate <laughs> Okay. Thank you, right. Judge. Sure. I'm burning gold memories with a brand new flame.